All right, so we want to take a look at these flashlights that I found on Amazon. I want to use them specifically for uh, use at the telescope when observing to retain your night vision and um, when you're reading charts or making adjustments. And so uh, let's see what we have. Now I cannot begin to tell you how many flashlights over the years that I have tried the collection that I have um, to use while at the telescope and uh, it's grown quite a bit and so I'm always open to something new and to see what's out there and so when these popped up I thought let me give them a try now what we actually had was I, I was ordering some things on Amazon and a thing popped up you might be interested you know how they have the stuff and it showed one flashlight for $8.99 well, I checked on it before I ordered and I thought yeah that's pretty cool and um, so I ordered two of them each $8.99 so immediately after placing my order for the two flashlights and some other things I get another thing that pops up down below it shows three flashlights and the three flashlights I believe were like $19.99 for three of them so I paid $18 for two so I immediately canceled the each flashlight the, the two and added these that you see here these three for $19.99 so here I'm on Amazon's website and uh, it says it's from uh, this uh, W-A-Y-L-L-S-H-I-N-E High power one mode red LED flashlight. Powerful single mode red flashlight, red light flashlight, red LED red light, torch for astronomy, aviation, night observation. And um, there you see the single price is $8.99. And then it gives some description here. And uh, that's what I liked about the fact that this was a no-frills flashlight. On and off red. Don't have to go through every color of the rainbow to find the red light. And here you see the three-pack that I bought for $19.99, which I, is really a great deal. I mean, I don't know how they even do that at that price, but... These are uh, actually, I, I feel very nice. Now one thing to take note of, it does say, please do install the battery in the right direction by reading the user manual. Otherwise, the LED bulb will be broken easily. Especially who used the 1450 battery on this flashlight. Should pay, it, should pay more attention. Now, interestingly enough, this company has single light flashlights in various colors. Now, when you get these, all three will be packaged in this little small envelope. Now, as shown on this uh, small little information page that you get, this is by this company, W-A-Y-L-L-S-H-I-N-E, LED Limited Company. And uh, it just talks about this flashlight and the use of uh, the uh, AA batteries and the use of this other. I've never heard of a 14, uh, 14500, but you can use that too. Now what interested me in these is they were strictly red. They didn't have any other colors. You didn't have to go through, you know, every color of the rainbow to get to the red. 
and so it was just a simple small flashlight it's red on red off red on red off you don't get much simpler than that so let's take a look at one of these now they do have a zoom feature on the head which doesn't interest me at all but it does have that you can take the front of the lens cap off now there is no seal on here there's no o-ring so I'm not sure if it's sealed here inside here but normally if they're sealed there's an o-ring up in up in this area because on the battery compartment on the lid the cover you do have an o-ring so not that I plan on you know throwing these in water but um, so I, I don't know and it takes a simple double-a battery that's what I like about this is when it comes to flashlights I don't want a rechargeable because I don't want to have to wait to use it if I carry extra batteries and I need and it's going down I put another battery in and I'm good to go so that's one of the things I really liked about this also now boys and girls as with everything in life nothing is as simple as it may seem the issue that I have with these is that this red light is way too bright as supplied uh, you hold this up to a star chart white background or, or anything you know your telescope uh, it's just way too bright okay but it is usable with a simple modification which I will show you now remember I told you that they do have a zoom feature well for the one that I'm going to use here for my telescope I didn't like that didn't want that so before I show you what I modded and what I did to this to make it usable is I epoxied that shut so just took a little bit of uh, two-part epoxy glue put it in there closed it up let it set and now we're good to go for me because like I said I just didn't want that So the secret guys into getting this flashlight to work properly and still retain your night vision is this item here by mag light and so this is what you're going to need this little kit And it's this model number AM2A016, part number 108-000-446, again by MAG Instruments. So included in this two-cell AA flashlight accessory pack, you're going to get a lens holder which is this item we're gonna get a lens set which is the blue red and, and the clear filter you're gonna get a wrist lanyard a key ring and a pocket clip now the blue filter is larger and is the only item that will fit in this in this uh, holder because the red and the clear are what fit in flashlights their their double a small flashlights you would replace the uh, the clear if you had a cracked clear you could replace it with that 
if you wanted the red you'd pull the clear and put the red in there and again this one is larger because it has to fit inside this retainer not quite sure why they don't give you red ones and clear ones uh, because another good thing about this is it keeps a flashlight from rolling off the table but that I don't know but this is what you're going to use now I will say that if you pull this lens cap off okay and take that off you can put that red filter in here okay you can drop that put it in here and close it and all it does is just not close completely you'll have just a little bit of a gap there because obviously the thickness of your filter problem is that still doesn't dim it enough to uh, retain your night vision another oddity as it were is that this fits precisely over the outside diameter of this housing nice and snug so you can push that on there like that oh there's my neighbor Don he's going by and um, it's on there and it's perfect and that extra blue will easily as I'm going to show here dim it quite nicely to use and you will have no problems retaining your night vision Now here you're going to see this uh, flashlight without the uh, extra blue filter on the end of it. And it's pointed against a white piece of paper. So you can see how bright that is. And it is not good for night vision. And if your eyes are dark adapted, definitely not good. So let's put the filter on. And this is perfect against this white paper. It's not too bright. It will retain your dark adaption. Now, I'm not sure how well this will show. But if you want to use this as it comes with... Um, without any extra filtration this actually is excellent if you're going to be doing and pointing it straight down not into the eyes of other observers and you want to walk around at night this works really great now here I'm shining it up on the wall of my my north side of my garage okay and again when you're shining it on white that white really reflects back and it's very bright but to walk along the ground here I'm on my grass as you can see, um, it's very nice to illuminate the ground. And so to retain your dark adaption, I highly recommend pointing it straight down. As you see here, just point it straight down to the ground. And then you won't ruin your dark adaption or anyone else's. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep one of these flashlights, as you see here, with this uh, cover and, and the blue filter. And that's what I'm going to use to retain my dark adaption. And when I want to move around and have a better view of the surroundings, I will take this, pointing it straight down to the ground as I uh, have shown in one of my clips, and this is what I'll use uh, when I want a brighter light aimed straight down to, um, to walk 
or do something because this works great for that. And it's easy to grab one if I've got these in my pocket. All you got to do is feel. Once I feel this end down here, I know that this is the one that I want to use to retain my night vision. This one here, okay, plus I'm going to keep it slide like that. So it'll be easy to determine which one I need and not pull out the wrong one.